and welcome to the best of Beatles About. We've a right royal theme for tonight's show. Take a look. The Queen pops in for some King Edwards. Our Queen Mum goes shoplifting. Princess Di's look-alike causes double trouble. And Prince William involves his whole family in toy shop turmoil. Remember Jean Strachan? She was quietly serving in her greengrocer's shop when she got a surprise visitor who caused a fairly fruity fracas. If you saw a beautiful Rolls Royce like this pull up that also had a Union Jack on the front plus a liveried chauffeur driving and <laughs> four of these little fellows in it, who would you think was inside? <laughs> Will you be wrong? Because it would be me, James. The staff of this greengrocer's shop are in for a right royal surprise. Just look who's nipped out to do a bit of shopping. <laughs> oh, good gracious. How would you react if you thought the Queen had chosen you to supply her with a pound of coxes? I'd like some apples, please. Um, coxes? I think they're English, aren't they? Let me just take the one to try. I'll be right back. Could you hold those? Are they fresh? Would you bring some uh, bring some oranges and some grapefruit? She wants to see them. <laughs> yes. That's right. Yes, Balmoral, Sandringham. <laughs> okay, if you bring them over. Yes, okay. Can you can you curtsy? No, she wants you to show them to her because you know about them. Can you curtsy? Oh yes. Have a little break. <laughs> If you just stand here, if you would just, if you would just stand here, <laughs> I'll, uh... Yes, sir. Just curtsy, won't you? was working in an antique shop when our version of the Queen Mum came in to browse and then walked out with several items she hadn't paid for. Well, what would you do? <laughs> Here's Graham minding our antique shop and here comes a very important visitor looking for a bargain. Swallow it? <laughs> I missed these lovely two people who were made for me a few minutes before a luncheon appointment. I would just like to look around. 
she does love to browse around in antique yes. shops, so if you don't mind, oh, just a few right. minutes. Thank you. Is off without paying. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Now, as you probably know, the walls don't carry cash. So if you could bill us at Clarence House, SW1. Okay, yes. goodbye. Yeah. Can I have any sort of form of. Oh, that sounds really embarrassing. Can I have some form of identification or something? I'm sorry, but the Queen Mother doesn't carry any form of identification other than um, who she is. I... Young man, there'll be no trouble, I assure you. Um, would it be impossible to hang around just until the proprietor comes back? We have to go now. There'll be no trouble, I assure you. For the boss to come back with some bad news. Uh, Mass the Queen Mother. <laughs> what? They come in here and they've taken three things for they said to build them with this. I tried to hold it until we came back. I bet you the Queen Mother's in Balmoral at the moment. They're doing the rounds as a gang of them do they're, they're, it's the Queen Mother this time. It's been all sorts of royals. I'm very sorry, but it was... we've had a notification about this. Yeah. Hello. Apparently we've just been hit by this um, Royals gang. Can you, uh, can you get um, somebody round straight away? Okay, thanks. Thanks very much. Bye. Look, I'm going to pop down the road. Yeah. A friend of mine's got a shop down the road. I shall, I'll pop down really the road. Really it's nothing. I, I don't, don't let anybody else know. touch anything until the police arrive. Don't let anybody in. Let's send in our fake policeman. He's part of the con gang and is going to do <laughs> more stuff. Will Graham let him? Dear, dear, dear. Who's yes. been a silly boy then? Look, sir, I can see you're upset. Just sit yourself down. Yeah? You're upset, aren't you? Yeah. I'm right. pretty shocked. Well, sit down. Well, just sit, just, just sit down. Come on now. Sit down, sit down there. Right. And come on. Just say after me. I've been a silly billy. I've been very... I've been a silly billy. Of taking it in, but... And I've fallen for a big con. Very. And I won't do it again. No. Right. Can you make a list of all the things that have been taken and put the price down of each thing that's been touched? Write it clearly, sir. Silver teapot. Can you put that down? 750, sir. Yes. This. Now, let's I'm get these down. I've got to wait until it cuts. So, sorry, it can't. Is this a lot? Is there anything else in there? But I'm sorry, no, I can't no. let you go with it until they turn up. I'm going to sign this, sir. Can you leave it, please? Leave it and all that. I know I'm insulting you or whatever, and I have to go. I'll come on. Do you want me to arrest you now? I'm not. I'm just asking come on, you. Come on, Johnny. Do you want me to arrest you now? I don't want to arrest you. I'm not going to arrest you, and I'll let you walk out with these. Sit down, please. It'll make you feel a lot better. Good morning, Allen's Antiques. Can you please, can you please put that down? Get it back down, please! I'm going now, and if there's any more trouble from you, you're in oh. serious bother. Can you please put that down? Put that down, please! Please put that down. I'm leaving the shop. Please yeah. put that down. Put your hands off that. Well, you don't like your helmet, are you? Come on. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to arrest this... Oh, uh, no, excuse me. Sir. No way! You've just caught... That is swearing in front. You're in... Come here, you 
It's me oh, as the real police. But is Graham in on it? You got no identification? I just give my just stand there. I think he's part of the gang. You think? Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> What's your payroll number? Hello, Jeremy Beagle. <laughs> Girls, I'd like you to imagine that you're driving down a country lane when a policeman flags you down and asks for assistance. He claims he's escorting the Princess of Wales, who's being hassled by a French photographer, and asks you to dress up as Princess Di and act as a decoy. That's the situation that Jay Dance found herself in when her husband Ricky set her up. Here's our royal group, and here come Jay and Ricky. Remember, Ricky's in on the joke. I'm sorry, sir. Can you wind your window down, please? Can I ask you both to get out of the car? I'm going to ask for your assistance, please. I think I need to talk to you. I'm with the Royal Protection League. I'm with I'm Inspector Howard. Can you get out of the car? I need to ask your assistance. We have a security problem. Oh, Thank you very much. We have a security problem in that we I'm escorting the Princess of Wales to Chartwell, an extremely secure mission. And I'm afraid we're going to ask for your help because we have photographer problem. Would you like to explain? Yes. I've told them basically what's going to happen, but if you could explain, please. Yes. Hello, I'm Sarah Mortimer. Hello. I'm the Princess's Lady in Waiting. Um, yes, I don't know if the officer explained. We've got a slight problem. We're accompanying Her Majesty to, um, to Chartwell. And we're being hounded by this photographer, and all we need to do is just try and lose him. And the best way to do that is if we can just effect a quick swap. So that would involve us placing Her Highness in the police car and just asking you to drive. Her Highness's car, uh, literally just around the block. If you just left your car here, that meant uh, we'll lend you a hat, so that's all right. So it just gives us enough time to lose the photographer. Then bring the car back here. Uh, a policeman will pick it up for us. And you can pick up your car and be on your way. May I just show you how the car works? Thank you very much. Because it's an automatic car. Do, is if you can you can need to be Right, let's go through this again. Jay is driving Princess Diana's car, so the French photographer will follow her. There it goes now. <laughs> Remember, that's the French photographer in the red car following Jay. Can't see this hat on. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've put up no parking signs in the lay-by where Jay left her car. <laughs> Here's the bit of Bobby giving her a parking ticket. What's, it, what's that bloke's name? Oh, bloke. PC Smith, that. wasn't it? From your bank. Smith, he said. Okay. It's your car, miss. Yeah. Just hang on a minute, will you, please? Yeah. We've come out today and we got pulled over by a policeman and said that he had Princess Diana in the back of his car, would I put on a hat, drive her car around the block, and I'm supposed to give me a ticket, and I believe me. You what? Tell me to get in the car, drive the car around the block, and that bloke yeah, that, there, yeah. he's been following us. He's been following us and taking photos out the window. Well, what's that got to do with this car? Because this is our car, and he told us to leave it here and drive that one. So this is your car? Yeah. We've only come out for the day. It's Pierre, the photographer, who's convinced that Jay is the real princess. Can you tell him I'm not Lady Di? Not Lady Di. She's not Lady Di. Di. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Jonathan. It's all you. It's all you, Put. Did that tell me? Hey. That's it. Hey. I'm going to thump you. It's all you. It's all you. This is your back. Yes. Yeah. 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 Lady Di. Yeah, but what about that bloke who was here first? Look, you clear off. I've had enough of you. That's it, 
there's no laughing matter, you know, mate. You are no, not allowed I'm... to fart here. All right. I'm not laughing. I want to get in that car. Look, you better get on to your, whatever you call it, and find out who stopped that. Strike, You've been drinking, haven't you? Inspector Beadle. So you got into this car without permission then? No, I never got into that car without permission. Hey? One of your policemen asked me to get in the car and drive the car with Lady Di's hat on. Yeah? Yes, that is so true. Oh, yeah. What is the problem, uh, uh, Illegally parked, sir. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right, John. Just, uh, just calm it down. Thank you for impersonating Princess Di. No, I'm not impersonating anyone. He just asked me to wear her hat and drive her car around the corner so they could get her off somewhere. What? Well, look, if you don't stop taking photos, <laughs> <laughs> you need to get on one of I think she sussed it. <laughs> what the f hell's going on? <laughs> Look at this. I'll move it. Okay. <laughs> and if you want to know what was going on there, we'll show you after the break. to such costly affairs when you've only a quilt and two chairs. If you radio rent it, your wallet ain't dented. Shall we have a tumble upstairs? <laughs> Stay contented. Get radio rented. New from L'Oreal Technique Professionnelle, a perfect foundation perm system for today's softer, natural hairstyles. TechniWave. For soft, open curls with natural movement. For long-lasting body and volume. TechniWave Foundation Perm System. A perfect, long-lasting foundation for today's natural styles. Exclusive to your hairdresser. Revealed the secrets of the supermodels. What took Linda to the top? Where was Claudia discovered? And why did Naomi fall for New York? Find out in a special 16-page Supermodels magazine. And if you'd like a super new model like this, the Express and Lombard Motor Finance are giving one away every day this week. Once they were sisters-in-law, but are they now sisters of war? The Express examines Fergie and Diana's relationship in a fascinating royal exclusive. No wonder you're reading the Daily Express. Folks, if you love Alpen's crispy wheat flakes, sun-blessed raisins, oats, and hazelnuts, great news. You can now get 10% extra Alpen free. Clock out 9,000 miles free. Buy a new Clio or Renault 19 diesel now, and Renault will send you a check worth 9,000 miles of fuel free. If you can't use this diary, alarm, address book, calculator, and word processor in five minutes, you'll get your money back. Just £199.99. The new notepad computer from Amstrad. The romance, the music, the lifestyle, and the crime. The 60s are back. Heartbeat, a new series, tonight on ITV. Mark Sheldon found himself in a very tricky situation the day that our Prince William walked into the toy shop where he was working and proceeded to wreck the place. Here's Mark being left in charge of our toy shop. No problem. Okay. Hello, hello, to toys. And here comes our Prince William with his nanny and bodyguard on a shopping trip. Take to Tango 3, we're just entering Alan's toy shop in the Westman Shopping Centre. We're <laughs> out. 
Try to come in, please. All secure, so in they go. Good afternoon. Hello. We're actually looking for a, a present for your cousin mm. Peter, aren't we, William? Yes. Ooh, that's quite a fancy one, isn't it? Mm. What do you reckon? Why don't we just move the bike a little bit for the minute? That's right. I'll move it. OK. <laughs> Do you realise you just put at risk the life of the future monarch of England? <laughs> to tell you now, you'll be facing a full medical examination, and if you sustain any injuries whatsoever, you'll be facing a serious prosecution. <laughs> well, perhaps we'd better choose this present and be yes. on our way. You, you pick one of this one. Okay. Yes, we'll, we'll pick that one. That looks a very good one. Too. All right. Yeah. You clear the way for us, please. Please make sure it's perfectly safe before anyone else comes in this place. Do you understand? Uh, for the, you can send the bill to Kensington Palace for the car. Just, what on earth's going on? Can you just listen to me, just for a second? <laughs> no, I uh, you can, can I What's just, happened? Can I just explain something very quickly? You won't believe this, and whether you do, I don't know, I'll go if you want, but Prince William just came in here. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, Prince William? Yeah, you might be joking. You might think I'm joking, OK? You're okay. telling me that Prince William Prince has been... Prince William, the little boy, he took your... Remember you had a police car up there? Yeah. He took it because it's for his cousin or something. You mean he, he left the shop and didn't pay? He said, charge the bill to Kensington Palace. <laughs> Excuse me. He said, if anything happens to Prince William, then you might have a medical check and everything. Well, where are they? I've just gone. I'm... You may think I'm joking. No, no, well, we'll hang on. I'll we'll I'm just going to look for them. If they're around, I'm going I'm to get I'll them. Look, just, I'll no, look, well, you just hang on here a minute. Will you just look at... Just start tidying up. Oh, I've done fine. Sorry, they're around. No, no, you just tidy up for me. That's OK. Time for a call from a worried parent. Hello, Ellis to us. Uh, hello, it's Prince Charles here. Might want to speak to the manager. Um, no, I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. He's just once heard a disturbing report that one son and heir has been involved in an accident. Is this true? The boy has nothing wrong with him at all. Please call me sir, would you? Sorry, sir. That's all right. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Why don't we get Grandma to ring? Hello, is my grandson William there? Uh, no, I'm afraid he's not. He's just left the store. This is the Queen here. He's not been rushed to hospital, has he? No, no accident has happened. He has just left the store. I don't like the tone. And call me Your Majesty. I'm sorry, Majesty. I'm sorry, Majesty, but nothing, nothing um, bad at all happened. What a nice young man. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. This business is obviously affecting national security, so let's arrange a phone call from the Prime Minister to try and sort things out. Hello, Alice Toys. Are you in charge of the shop? Yeah. This is Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Nothing um, has happened to Prince William. He's just left the shop and he's fine. Who am I, I just... talking to? Uh, the shop assistant, Mark Sheldon. Well, Mark Sheldon, special branch have been informed and I intend to get to the bottom of this. OK. It better be OK. Goodbye. Sorry for the trouble. Braining. What's going on? I can't believe it. What's happening? It's not new, is it? You haven't gone berserk or something and, no, I mean... I've gone berserk. Here, you pick up the phone. Oh, look, I've got to get this cleared up. We're, just if you just answer the phone, and I'll just get this cleared up because I, if the press come and see this. I don't want to speak to anybody. The, the mood I'm in at the moment. Who could it be this time? He's just left with his nanny. There's no. He has no injury at all. Who is it? Ronald Reagan. I can't. Just stand there, please. Put that phone down. Put your hands up, please. Just put your hands up, please. I'm sorry, I'm, you're giving it away. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I'm sorry, I cannot believe this. <laughs> well, that's all we've got time for now.
But I hope you enjoyed our royal rip-offs. We'll be back soon with more of your favourite from the Beatle archives. Please keep your letters coming in. We couldn't make a series without your help. Just tell us who you think would make a great Beatle star. But don't forget, next time, it could be you. Good night. <laughs>